we get a lot of questions in the fall on how to start seedling trees from various nuts, pecans, black walnuts, acorns like we have here. We have OSU publishes a fact sheet on starting pecan trees. And this is available through your county office or from us at Oklahoma Gardening. This gives directions on how to start pecan trees from pecan nuts and gives the procedure to do it. That same exact procedure works just as well for any of your nut crops. Black walnuts, acorns, any of your other nuts. We're going to go through that procedure with you today. It's called stratification. And what it is, is basically just an artificial winter. Any of these nut crops that come off in fall, they have a built-in mechanism that prevents them from germinating and growing into a tree right away. If it started growing now, it would only get up just a little ways and then winter would hit and the seedling would die. So it's been genetically programmed, an adaptive mechanism, so it stays dormant until spring. Now, if you think of what happens in nature, the squirrel takes the acorns or the pecan nuts, stores them in the hole in the ground, occasionally it forgets where the different holes are, and then that's where you get pecan or an oak tree growing up. What that nut goes through during that winter is moist, cold conditions while it's in that soil. And that's what we're trying to duplicate with our stratification process. A cold, moist treatment to break that dormancy and allow that seedling to grow. If you just took and planted these acorns in a greenhouse in a warm place right now in the fall, they'd never grow. They need that cold, moist treatment to break their dormancy before they will grow normally. Our first step, buy some vermiculite. Moisten your vermiculite, which is what we have down here. Use some sort of container that you can close, either a Tupperware container, or I'm going to just use a normal plastic bag. Take and put about an inch or two layer of your moist vermiculite in the bottom of your container, in this case, the plastic bag. And then place whatever nut you're trying to stratify. In this case, I've got my three acorns in there. Leave at least an inch or so space in between the individual nuts in case one of them does become infected with a rot organism and starts to mold, it won't spread to the other nuts in there as easily. So a little bit of separation in space of space helps maintain so that you have at least some of the nuts come through. After you've got your nuts placed in there, you put another layer of the vermiculite on top. Now if you had a lot of nuts that you're stratifying, you could put another layer of acorns on there and cover that with another layer of vermiculite. So you have several layers. And this is where the word stratify comes from. You have layers or stratifications of your packing material, the seeds, packing material, and seeds. That's where the term comes from. We only have the three acorns. We're just going to tie this loosely on the top, and it's going to go into the refrigerator for three months. It needs that length of time of cold treatment, and the vermiculite being moist, it's not soggy. It's, it's been drained, but it's moist, and it will provide the moisture that those seeds need. And then at the end of three months, they can be brought out, and they're all ready for, for planting, either in pots, or in a nursery row, or directly in the spot where you want that tree to grow. Now, if you're not ready, if the three-month period of time comes in the middle of winter and you're not ready to start growing the trees yet, leave them in the refrigerator. It doesn't hurt them to have four months or even five months of cold period. It just needs at least three months. Keep an eye on them, though, in case they start to mold. Then you need to get them out of there quickly or if they're starting to sprout, 
you'll need to get them planted relatively quickly. Now I've used vermiculite. You can use sand or sawdust. Those are sort of the old standby packing materials and they work just fine. Vermiculite is relatively sterile so you don't get as much chance for infection of the nuts. So if you can get it, vermiculite is the preferred packing media just from the sanitation standpoint. Now this method, as I said, works on any of your nut crops. It could also be used on seeds from your larger fruit crops like peaches or apricots or plums, something that is basically the size of a nut. On your smaller seeded crops like apple or pear, this method will work just fine, but good luck finding the apple seed in all that vermiculite when you're done. So for that type of crop, there's a slightly different method. It still provides a cold, moist treatment, but the packing material that provides the moisture is a bit different. This is just a paper towel. Moisten it. Again, and you don't want it to be soggy, just moist. So wring it out gently, and then unfold it. And lay it on a flat surface. And remove the seeds from your apple core. Nice part about this is you get to eat your apple first. So you you still get the use of your, of your fruit. Generally on your apples or pears you have five locules or places where the seeds grow and you'll have from two to three. This one has three seeds in each. Line those seeds up along the edge of your paper towel. Again, leaving some space separating them. Then fold paper towel over. Then roll it up like a jelly roll. So now your apple seeds or other fruit seeds are in the middle of this paper towel. They're surrounded by a moist material. Paper towels tend to be relatively sterile and they are separated because as you put them on there was space in between them. And then you just take, you can fold this over or if you have room don't bother folding over. Put it in a plastic bag and seal the top and put it in the crisper just like you did the, your nut crops. Give it three months of cold with that moist chilling requirement and then they'll be ready to grow next spring. Now one thing I want to caution you about, anytime you take seedlings of any of your trees or any of your fruit crops, those seedlings will all be different from the parent. If you take seeds from a golden delicious apple, you're not getting golden delicious trees. You're getting seedling apple trees, which will be full size trees and they'll be as different from a golden delicious as your kids are different from you. There will be similarities but they'll all be different. If you're thinking of letting it grow, these apple seedlings grow or any of your other fruit crop seedlings grow in fruit and expect them to be a reasonably good fruit crop, forget it. Apple breeders, when they're making controlled crosses and planting out seedlings, if they plant out 10,000 seedlings, they consider themselves lucky to get just one of those seedlings to be good enough to even be considered as a new variety. So the odds are very much against you getting a good apple from that apple seedling. Seedling trees from your fruit crops or pecans, they're being grown as root stocks to graft to the variety that you want. So if you're growing pecan seedlings, grow them and then after two or three years when they're large enough, use a four flat graft or a bark graft to top work them to the variety of pecan that you want. If you take a seedling from a Stuart pecan, it's not 
going to turn into a Stuart pecan. You need to take that seedling, get grafted from a Stuart pecan tree, and do the grafting. On your ornamental trees, such as acorn, oak trees, that's not as much of a consideration because you don't have different varieties of oaks. You have different species of oaks, but you don't have different varieties within those species of oaks as you do with apples or with pecans. So there you don't worry so much about there being variability between the seedlings. So this fall, if there's a particular type of oak or a particular type of fruit that you want to start some seedlings for, now is the time to collect the seed, get them stratifying, get them ready for planting out next year.